Did it snow last night? Okay, can you stir it again? Mommy's gonna pour it in and then you can start mixing, okay? Yeah, keep going, Georgia. Look at what you're doing. Georgia, look at what you're doing so that you can stay safe. Okay, mommy, have a turn. Okay, Georgia's turn. Okay. Mommy's gonna have a quick turn and then you can have another turn, okay? Mommy just wants to make sure that these spinach get worked on. Hold on. Your turn again. Vlogmas. Today is December 8th and I came with Georgia. It actually snowed again last night. I like we... Yeah, I feel like we just keep shoveling. We're gonna be going outside and shoveling our walks soon and then probably coming inside and getting cozy with some hot chocolate and changes of clothes. Not much on the plans for today, because honestly, I just really need work on my blanket, so mostly gonna hunker down. I'm glad that we went to the library yesterday because today is not a day for walking and exploring outside. 
But I gotta figure out how to use up her energy because that walk and then playing at the library was really good for her. So I might need to look into something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I gotta explore the area to see what are good things to keep toddlers busy in the area. Especially with the weather. Not used to having to accommodate so much to the weather compared to California. Lots of cozy wintry things and then hopefully we'll get a chance to kind of hunker down and I can get some stitching in. Hey Smiley girl. Having so much fun in the snow. <laughs> yeah. New shovel in. What a big helper. Yeah, oh, is it mommy's turn? So in the morning, we get the rainbow from the kitchen, but right now in the afternoon, we get the rainbow from the front door. Oh, so pretty. Show me on the floor, Georgia. What does it look like on the floor? <gasps> X marks the spot. All right, so I think this is actually gonna be a shorter Vlogmas episode, which is really nice. So if you need to do some catching up, I know I do on all the different Vlogmases that I am watching. But today was kind of just a, I wouldn't say relaxed day, but it was just, we didn't have a ton that we had to do. And so we just kind of played things minute by minute we got some shuffling done because it snowed again and Georgia and I went and did a quick trip to the store had a couple things to grab there's just lots of little things to grab and I swung by crumble cookie on my way home my birthday was last month and so I got a free cookie coupon from them that I wanted to cash in today because I just needed the extra boost Georgia had a hard time at the store today <laughs> so it was just not not good with stores not sure if it's like overstimulating maybe just this period of time in her life not a good idea <laughs> we just need to stay away from places where she can't just run around willy-nilly and get all her energy out because that's really the problem is that she wants to run around and I need to have eyes on her to keep her safe so that's kind of where we butt heads a little bit so need somewhere to like let her energy out a little harder in the winter so I need to get creative and look into some options for her. As so I got my cookie <laughs> to get a little bit of a break we like didn't have anything playing in the car and we just kind of like decompressed because we were both feeling overstimulated and we were able to relax at home. I got some hot chocolate oh and it was so fun I also got a package of tea from my friend as like a part of a home warming type of present so I'm excited to try that. I've wanted to become a tea person but I don't want to commit to buying a flavor until I try it and I know that I like it because I don't want to like try it and then I have nine more packets of tea that I don't know what to do with if I don't like it. So so, so she's sending me like samplers which is really nice. I'm excited to try those out. Didn't get a chance to today. But we just did a couple little things around the house. We found out movers are coming tomorrow to bring our stuff. It was kind of up in the air. We thought maybe it was going to be next weekend. It's tomorrow. So got to do a little tidying up to make room for all of the boxes and the furniture we're going to bring in. We're excited. But tomorrow's going to be a busy and chaotic day. So I will take you along with me for that for sure. I have been working on the blanket, of course just really trying to power through it and then hopefully sometime tomorrow as well as Saturday I can sit down outside of the house 
and really work on the pattern and making sure I have everything ready to send to the magazine so I can mail the blanket off Saturday or Monday at the latest. But I am on the very last section, so I am over 90% done with the blanket. I have about, let's see, I've got maybe like 16 rows left, so I'm not going to finish tonight for sure. I'm hoping to get to the 12 row mark out of 24 so that I can do another like color change and that'll be my very last color change for this blanket. I am so excited. So I should finish this fairly early on tomorrow and then just be weaving it in the whole rest of the time, which is honestly a lot easier to do since I can ball the blanket up on my lap and just weave in ends. Whereas before I had like eight balls of yarn attached and they would get all tangled and so I kind of had to like spread out and rearrange things every couple rows. So I think it will be easier to just take with me around the house as I'm following Georgia, maybe even like going on a car ride somewhere. I can have it in my lap and be working on it. So you know, I could finish the blanket tomorrow like completely, which is, ah, that'd be amazing. And then I can just focus on writing the pattern. It's a pretty simple pattern repeat color changes wise, but it's intarsia, meaning that it's a color work style. This is a crochet blanket, but intarsia is also used in knitting. And basically you knit in a certain color and you just drop your yarn and knit in the next color. And when you come back to the same spot as your previous yarn, you can then pick that up continue on so it's good for like color blocking or if you have lots of different strands of yarn because your color blocks need to stay at least next to each other throughout the rows so I don't know if I'm explaining that very well but anyway it's a very different style than I've written before in a pattern and so it'll just be a little bit tricky to get it from my head onto paper and make sure that it's really clear so I'm gonna do some looking in that maybe some free patterns on Ravelry, get an idea for what the proper way to write things is. The magazine will have a tech editor look at my pattern, but they actually said that they will charge me for tech editing time if my pattern needs a lot of work. So I'd love to do the most possible, give them the best possible pattern so I can feel confident in the work that I am putting forth. So that's exciting that this pattern is almost done. And then I might not even knit for like a whole day. I don't know. Probably not. I need to work with fiber like every day. But we'll see, I guess, where my heart leads me when I can finally be done with this, like physically and mentally. I'm so excited. But I will see you tomorrow. Until then, happy making. Bye.